It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Tuesday, the 4th of January, 2022. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather brighter today, not as cold as yesterday. Next shot of cold air comes in here later this week. There's some rain in advance of that on Thursday. And some folks up near the Tennessee state line could see a wintry mix with that. Let's talk about it. Here we go. This is the upper air look. The flow at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground. It is a zonal flow. The system that brought the snow is moving off the upper Atlantic coast. And it's a cold morning. We've got most spots in the 20s to start the day. We're expecting a high in the mid-50s with a sunny sky right at seasonal averages. On the watch warning map, a lot of winter weather issues up north. Many states under winter weather advisories. A few winter storm warnings as well. Things are quiet down here. And thankfully, no severe thunderstorms to deal with for a while. Here's the severe weather outlook today. Maybe some thunder for Seattle and Portland. Tomorrow, a chance of thunder for the Outer Banks of North Carolina. And then on Thursday, there could be a few thunderstorms near the Gulf Coast in parts of southeast Alabama, back down toward Mobile, but no severe storms are expected at this point. Here's the precipitation for the next seven days. Again, the northern Pacific coast awfully wet. For Alabama, the amounts between one and one and a half inches for the northern half of the state, generally under one inch for the south. So, model fans, here we go, the GFS. This is the 06C run, valid today at three. Zonal flow, dry air mass, nice day, sunny mid-50s. Tomorrow, the day will be dry. Clouds should gradually increase, the high again, mid-50s. Now, this is Thursday, so here comes the next feature in advance of the cold front. Very strong uh, push of Arctic air behind that front, and you can see potential for winter weather mischief over extreme North Alabama. So this is the high-res NAM Thursday at noon, and it's suggesting, no, it's just going to be a cold rain up uh, over the Tennessee Valley. But understand, at the onset Thursday morning, maybe some evaporative cooling, uh, there could easily be some snow, especially north of the Tennessee River. This is the European at noon on Thursday. And again, you can see evidence of a little sleet mixed in with a few snowflakes up near the Tennessee state line. For most of the state on Thursday, it's just going to be a cold rain. Uh, temperatures should be in the 40s with rain falling at times. And this, this is the snow projection coming off the European with the system. And you can see the better chance of any accumulating snow should be over Tennessee back in the colder air. So again, at the onset, there could be a wintry mix along and north of the Tennessee River. Most of the state Thursday, just a cold rain at times. And then Friday, some really cold air drops in here. Uh, Friday morning, uh, we're going to drop in the low 20s with a pretty good north wind. And that could push the wind chill index down to about 10 uh, and maybe even single digits over parts of North Alabama. And we might uh, just kind of sit in the 30s all day Friday, despite the fact that the sun comes back out. So a very cold day on Friday. Saturday as the weekend begins, again, we start the day in the 20s. The high will be in the 50s. Rain off to the west, and that rain comes in here Sunday with a cold front coming in. Uh, don't expect any severe weather. Uh, maybe some thunder. Highs uh, upper 50s, maybe touching 60. And then Monday, the rain pushes on down into South Alabama. There's a new shot of colder air drops in. Temperatures drop in the 40s for the northern half of the state. And this is a week from today, Tuesday, the 11th of January, a northwest flow aloft and a cold, dry air mass settling in here. Another pretty cold and dry day. We'll go out 10 days, Thursday of next week, the 13th, a zonal flow, and that looks dry with showers off to the west. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble, the mean, a bit over 2 inches between now and the 18th of January. Temperatures on an average basis pretty close to where we should be for this time of the year. But you see the cold shots. Uh, Friday, cold shot coming in with a high of 43. And again, many spots could stay in the 30s on Friday. Another cold air shot toward Tuesday of next week. But again, if you average all these numbers out, highs mostly in the 50s and lows mostly in the 30s, which is what we expect this time of the year. And the CPC outlook, this is for the 11th through the 17th of January. Temperature is a little above average if this happens to verify. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3 o'clock this afternoon. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Hey, this is James Spann. I think one of the best parts of my job, getting to do weather programs in schools. During regular times, I'm in a school once or twice a day, teaching students, mostly in elementary schools, things about weather and science. It's a really great part of my job. In fact, if I wasn't a television meteorologist, I would be 
a third grade science teacher. But one thing I've noticed over the years, some children, not all, but some, develop a genuine fear, a phobia of weather, especially thunderstorms and tornadoes. To offset that, I commissioned a couple of creative members of my family to write a series of children's books about weather. And the first one is out. Benny and Chipper, be prepared, not scared. Your kids will absolutely love Benny the Bear and his best pal, Chipper the Beagle Dog. It's a really good read about thunderstorms and tornadoes and how it's okay to be a little afraid, but you don't have to be really afraid. As long as you're prepared, you understand them, you know what to do, and you take care of yourself. Information is very powerful, and that starts a process of kids overcoming that fear. And this book is a really good read for any elementary school student. My friend Ginger Z of ABC News in New York, the chief meteorologist there, wrote a forward here. Jeremy Davis, an illustrator, really makes Benny and Chipper come to life. It's a great read, and your kids will love it. I would encourage you to get a copy, and we'll have future books with Benny and Chipper about things like thunderstorms and the science behind them, tornadoes and hurricanes. So get your copy today. Right now it's available online at SpanBook, with two N's, SpanBook. Dot com. And you'll see some other cool stuff there as well. Benny and Chipper, prepared not scared. Get your kids a copy today.